Okay. Doze wants to make $400, but Doze doesn't want to get a job. So Doze chooses to create a Ponzi scheme in which he elects two friends, Mary and Rose, to assist him in gathering four boneheads to invest $100 of their stimulus checks into Doze at the top of the bracket. Once this process is completed and Doze reaches his goal of $400, Doze can now leave the bracket. Now the bracket gets split in half, leaving Mary and Rose at the top of each of their own brackets. Now Mary wants to get her $400, and in order for her to do that, these two boneheads need to gather four more boneheads to invest $100 of their stimulus checks into Mary at the top of the bracket. Meanwhile, these boneheads are working together to accomplish the same goal for Rose. Once Mary collects her $400, she can now leave the bracket, and her bracket now gets split into two. As the cycle continues, you will notice that Doze, Mary, and Rose are no longer a part of the scheme. This bracket now consists of nothing but boneheads. This bonehead must rely on these two boneheads to gather four more boneheads to invest $100 of their stimulus checks. Now, what these boneheads are about to realize is that their network is not as strong as Doze's, Mary's, or Rose's. As a result, these two boneheads are not going to be able to find any more boneheads to invest. This bonehead won't get their money. This bonehead won't get their money. This bonehead won't get their money. In conclusion, don't be a fucking bonehead. And for those of you that got your friends, family, or co-workers into this shit. Don't be a fucking dick.